training out today, so we might as well do something together. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. We're going to do this drone arm replacement thingamabobber. So what I think we need for this is my tweezers that I can't find anywhere, so mama must have took them. We're going to need the new arm. We're going to need probably a new one of them because I like to put a new one in. That's a spring load thing that holds the arm shut. We're going to need some solder. We're going to need a soldering gun, the drone, drone tools, which I kind of scavenged together on my own. Let's start off by saying don't try this at home. Do it own risk because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Frig no, I don't. So the first thing we need to do is remember what arm it was again. Does anybody remember? Leave your comments down below. Pretty sure it's that guy right there. Sure it is. Do you think we should check? Sure we better. Frank. Well, actually, you know what? If I open this arm, that will tell me because I ordered the arm that I need to replace. Oh, brother. There she is, Jim. Hey, eh? That's the one. Right there. And, holy. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six wires on that arm. I might be a little bit scared, I'm saying. That might be a little scary, Captain. Let's get the propellers off this thing. This thing's never going to run again, Captain. All right, there we go. So that's off. So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta save this part right here. So we got in there. Oh, a little torxy torxy. Even smaller. There it is. So we get this out of there. That out of there. This is what holds the spring on and tells us what's what. So we'll switch that over first. And that way that's done. One. All right, so now that that's off, we can pull the screws out of the chat of the body and get it apart. I think I know how to do this. So we'll get all these screws out, Captain. So there's four in behind the battery. One, two, three, four. There's six under the chassis right here. There we go. So that's off. There's two at the bum hole right in here. There is two in the front right in here. Actually, there's four all together, but there's two big and then there's two small. Now the thing I remembered last time is this thing falls out. So just make sure you don't forget to put it back in. It's a guard that goes right behind the camera. So it falls out, so I'm going to take it out now. Oh, knew that was going to happen. There it is. So most of these screws are the exact same size. There's just a couple that are different. Oh, come on, get out of there, you son of a bitch. There it is. So now once you get those two out, there's two little ones. There's two little tiny ones that hold the uh, front nose cone on. Now, I know you guys are going to have better screwdrivers than I do, but hey, it is what it is, it is. Let me turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. So they're in here. Now these ones are a different size. There we go. So that holds the nose cone on. So now there's two more in behind these shells. This is the one I forgot last time. So you pull these off, these covers. One on each side. There we go. They're the same size, so they can all go together too. So we remove this cap. I just stick my screwdriver in there, give her a little wedge, and she pops right out. And then give her a little wedge, and she pops right out. There you go. So those are out. So now, these are the screws. One of them screws hold one side of that spring-loaded thing down, and the other screw is in there. So don't remove that screw unless you have to, because just don't do it. So this is the arm we're changing, so we got to remove that one. So we'll remove that one. But i got a new one of them that's going in, so we'll put that aside, because that's the only different screw. Now we'll get the nose cone off. And then getting those cone off, it's a little tricky. You just got to freaking really play with it, Jim. It's kind of snapped in. So you just want to be gentle. As you noticed before, it took right off on me. So it's probably going to take off again, so don't laugh. There it goes. I got that easier that time. So there's the nose cones off. So now that that's off, I think I am able to take apart the shell. I'm pretty sure I got it all. So let's try it. There's two little notches, like I said, remember in the back of the body. That you got to lift up like that. There's one side. And there's the other side. So now that that's up, you should be able to pull it. Oh yeah, there's two more screws right underneath the nose piece. Don't forget them or you'll break the shell like I almost just did. If you feel resistance, stop. Cap, why wouldn't you? So there we go. Now it should definitely come off. Get rid of that other screw. So now we take the shell the rest of the way off. Careful. Is it? Well, it popped right off last time. Ugh, I'm forgetting two screws. There's two more in here. So I almost dicked her over, Jim. I almost didn't listen to myself, so I almost forgot these two screws. Don't ask me how, but I did. So make sure you don't forget them. There we go. That's more like it. That's how it's supposed to work. All right, so now that we got them off, we got one, two, three, four, five wires there, and we got one that goes back. So here's all the wires 
right here for the arm. There's one that goes, I'll show you where it goes. There's one that goes right to the back of this chassis, which is gonna be very interesting to get out, but we'll figure it out. So I might have to lift up this plate to get that one out. But it just, it just unplugs. It's like a little tiny, see it just unplugs like that. Now I'm pretty sure that I can't get that out without removing that chassis. So we're gonna see here in a second. So it goes underneath that, which is a sensor. So yeah, we're gonna have to lift this board, I think, to get it out. I'm gonna have to lift that board too. Wow, there's screws back here. Now I just hope I have a screwdriver that's small enough for that, because I can't freaking see it. Yep, there's one. So there's a screw here, and they're really small. And there's a screw here, and you're better off to take them all out just so you don't have any pressure on it. So that's part of the base. I don't think that screws into anything. So hopefully you don't have to take that off. Yeah, that lifts up when you do that. So let's take these two out. Now let's see if we can lift this at all. Yeah, we should be able to lift it enough to pull that wire through. So let me get it started. If you hold your tongue just right, you can get it out. But you gotta hold your tongue just right. So now that wire's out that way, I can feed it up this way, and it goes around through the chassis here. So it wants to get caught there, so we might have to lift it up a little bit right there. Just enough to get her through. Don't put any kind of pressure on it because you don't want to break the board. There it goes. Okay. So there we go, that wire's off. That was probably the hardest wire of the whole job right there. So now that that's off, we can take our solder gun and we can uh, unsolder these. But before you do that, take your phone and take a picture. So that way you know which way they go. So we'll unsolder them now because we get them off. All right, here we go, Jim. One, two, come on. Five, okay, so they're off. So now as they're off, we can remove this arm. So there's that thing I was talking about. See how I dented it last time? That's why I ordered some new ones. So I'll set that aside and we'll pull this arm out. Save this bushing because we're going to need it for the new arm. Slide her out and there we go. So there's the arm off. So now we need our new arm, which is right here. So we'll slide it in through the hole. Now I'll tell you right now, this is kind of a nerve wracking job. There's no doubt about it. So if you don't think you're going to get nerve wracked, you got another thing coming, Jim. Because I'm nerve wracked right now. It might not look like it. But I am, because you know, you're playing with something that's worth quite a bit of cash. So if you freaking break it, it make you pretty sick, right? Freaking right it would. So now we're gonna flip this over. Let's get this pin back in first of all. That way the arm's held. Okay, you know, there is a certain way this arm does go, so it's under pressure. I had an F of a time with this last time too. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. It wasn't fun. I don't think this is gonna be fun either. So one side's got the notch, so it goes this way. So there's a notch on one side, so just look real close. And you'll see where the notch is. I'm doing the easy part right now. Okay, we're getting there. Ow! Easier to do with the arms shut, to be honest with you. She's got quite a bit of spring load to her. I think I'm gonna go half cock. If you go half cock right in the middle, the pressure goes away. Oh, that's how you do it. It's just a matter of getting her through the friggin' line of hole. What is stopping you? Carol! So that's what you want to do. You just want to get the arm to center load. Once you get her to the center load, then you can start wailing her down. There we go. So now I need my little screw, which is this one. Okay, there we go. So when you're putting those arms in, what you want to do is you want to take it and twist it in the drone. To, you'll feel a, a kind of a neutral spot on that spring. And that's where you want to put it. And that way you can get the pin through. And Bob's your uncle. So now that that's done, we can start to solder this thing back together. So the first thing I'm going to do is do the outside one first. So let me put my goggles back on. Well, this is where I need my tweezers. Now these do come pre-soldered. There's solder on the wire itself. So that's kind of nice. You just kind of get her lined up to where you want her, and then you tap her with the old doodad, and it should whatnot. I wish I had my other tip, though. This tip's a little big for this. But let me see if I can get the first one here without showing you, and then I'll show you on the second one. How's that? My soldering gun's not working that great right now. Come on, baby. What the f*** is going on with this soldering gun? Oh, my God. i got to tune up my soldering gun here right after this one. Yeah, that's not working. That should drop an instant. All right, hold on. Pause this video. I'll be right back. All right, so I went and got the proper tip. This is the kind of tip we should be using for this kind of job. So we'll get rid of this tip without burning ourselves. 
because she'll be friggin' hot, hot. So there's that off. We'll pull the tip out. We'll set it aside because it's going to be higher in deck. And we're going to put that son of a bitch. There we go. There, we'll slide this tip in. And oh, I almost grabbed that friggin' bit. That would have sucked. And there we go. Fire it back up. We'll give her a few minutes to warm up. And then we'll be back at her. I can get you right in here with me. Here, let me see if I can get you in here. Can you see? All right, let's see if this thing's got some power into her yet. The soldering gun's not being a very nice soldering gun right now. Like, are you even fucking working? You're fucking cold as dicks. What the fuck is going on here, man? Start the smoke now. There she goes. There we go. So we got one. Good solder right there, I'll tell you. So now we got to go with the yellow. I apologize if my hand's in the way. I really do, but it is what it is. It is. Get. Get. You can't come up here right now. There we go. Let's go put a little dab on here. A little dab will do you. Holy cow, I'm shaky today. There we go. Good. That one's on. Make sure you have no... See how there's a ball on there? You got to make sure there's no balls left when you're done. Because if there is, that can cause a short. Black's next. So we get the black one out of here. We'll get it lined up and in the hole. Right there. We'll give this a little dab. A little dab will do you. A little dab around there. There we go. There we go. Move it over. So I'm not going to try putting solder on this because it's got lots on this one. So let's just try giving it a little dab on this one. There we go. Got her. Next, we got white. Wish I knew what I was doing because I have no clue. This thing's probably never going to work again. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button too. Why wouldn't you? Should open up a new business. Drone repair, Captain. You know they don't make this quick release because they don't want people fixing these themselves. That's why they do this the way they do it. Because they want you to send it in to get fixed. There she goes. So now I just go by check, check in with a screwdriver before you go. 15 minutes later. Okay, I know it's hard with GoPro and all, but they need to come out with a better way to keep their cameras a little cooler. Because they shut off automatically when they get too hot. Which is good, but... It doesn't make for uh, a fun deal when you're recording yourself. I move the camera back because all I'm doing right now is feeding this wire back around the black one. Because as you've seen in the previous part of the video there, I already got soldered up. So we're just basically feeding this wire back through. It goes underneath to the clip. So we'll get this through here somehow. There's not a lot of room right there, I'll tell you, to get it through. Wow. It's a lot easier to pull it out than it is to put it through. <laughs> it's always a lot easier to pull it out than it is to put it through. Captain, so we need to kind of, there it goes. So now that that's through there, I'm gonna come around. Okay, so just make sure you loop that black wire where it's supposed to be. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it goes up and around and down and over. And over, and over, and over. Now when you're pushing this wire around, just be careful with it because the coating is not very thick on it. So it doesn't take much for it to get cocked over. Okay, there we go. So that's around there. So now we just gotta lift the board up and slide it back through. Oh boy, that's a tight fit. Come on, girl. You can do it. Get in there, you man. Holy f Okay, there we go. So that's through there. So we'll go back under here and we'll pull it up through. So now it's through there. We gotta push it back down through here. Which is another little bit of a trick show. Pull the way you hold your tongue. Holy dicks. Oh, I see what it's hitting on. Hoo-wee, hey hoo-wee. pretty bad and feeding the wire back is the hardest part of the whole job. I almost need a little pick tool. They're so delicate you don't want to cough it over. Come on baby. Come on. Yeah we did. All right there she goes. So we get that through there which was not fun as you've seen. So now we just got to feed it back through here and we'll snap her back on. There we go. So that should be that. So let's get these two little screws back in before I forget which are right over here. So we'll put these back in first. One there, and one here. There we go, so those are in. So we'll open up the rest of the arms, and I'm gonna put a battery in it, and we'll make sure the light comes on. There we go. On, on. So now we have our light back, and hopefully everything takes off good, but we'll see when we get her back together here, Jim. Well, at least we got all four corners working again. So now guess what? We're legal. Dragon right we are. And that's how it turns out. Look, it looks pretty good in there too, eh? 
Ah, freaking right it is. All right, so now let's start to put this thing back together. So first thing we're gonna do is think about it. We'll snap the case back on, which I'm gonna have to order because from prying it when I had those screws that I forgot about, put a little tiny crack in the shell, but that's no big deal. We can get a new shell later on for that. So there you go. See, that's what happens when you pry. So I'm not gonna put these props back on because I did hit a tree the other day. So let me go over and get new props. Actually, let me put these old props in here because they're still good, but we'll keep them for spares and we'll just use the new ones we got from uh, Canadian Drone 2. So we'll slap these on here and we'll try them out. Ooh, they're smooth. All right, so that's on, that's on. Stickers off, good, 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 and good. Okay, battery, power, Remote. Hey, careful. Lights engaged. Fire up the remote ski. You watching? Probably not. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, you did. I'll have to show you that on another video, too. Let me know if you want to know how to make a voice command when you plug your phone in. If you want me to do a video on that, I will. Why wouldn't I? All right, here we go, Jim. Confirm everything's good. All four motors are spinning. We have lift off, Jim. There she is. Look at that. All four lights are working, Captain. I can definitely tell I have a cat, so there's hair everywhere. So that makes me feel better now to know that uh, I have all functional lights. Now we're safe, Jim. There we go. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you did. And give me a thumbs up too. I appreciate it. But please, if you're watching this video, please just take a moment to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I love you all. Thanks for being here. And until next time, you know what to do for now.